Jesus will come with me. Jesus will come with me. Hold on, let's go back a little bit. I feel like shit, it's raining at my period. What else is new? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Get ready with me to go to the Jay Sean concert. This is what I did. And yeah, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and I will take you along with me. So yeah, enjoy. So I've been listening to Jay Sean since like he had hair, which was like a while ago. This is before like he became a big international star, but he started out making like um Desi Punjabi music and then he switched over to like America. But yeah, I'm excited to go see him. I don't really go to concerts a lot, so I'm excited for that. But it is raining outside. Of course, the whole week it's sunny, and then the weekend it's raining. And I'm a period, and yeah, I mean, things really could not get any worse. <laughs> but it is what it is. I'm going in with my rare foundation, even though I feel like this is too dark for me right now. So I'm gonna have to like mix it with something else. But yeah, I'm really excited to just go have fun with the girls, but... It is just one of those days where I don't even feel like getting glam, but we still gotta do what we gotta do. And I literally slept at like 5 a.m. this morning and for that and me being on my period, I feel like my skin actually looks pretty good. Normally I am breaking out like crazy, but I'm like, I don't know why I touched my face and I like puffed up there. Oh, and, and then the allergies like... I've had the, some of the worst allergies I've ever had in life this year. Like, I don't know what is in the pollen this year, but it is strong and relentless. And I feel very, like, stuffy and just, like, sneezing constantly. Like, I went out with one of my friends last week and I was dying. Like, when I tell you, and there was, like, you could literally see the pollen flying everywhere. It was so bad. I don't know what's happening in New York. It's supposed to be like nice right now, but it's actually kind of chilly today, like climate change. Like all of this is just stressing me out. And it, like sometimes it just feels like the world is ending. I have no idea what I'm wearing either, but I did my nails this color. I have a top this color, so I'm like maybe I'll wear that, but it's just like I don't want to wear anything. Like I feel fat and bloated, so I want to wear something comfortable, but I still want to look cute. I'm just like, ugh. Alright guys, let's get into this makeup. This video is late because I have been just so sick since the concert. But let's get into it. I am double concealing. So I go in with the darker concealer. Then I'm going in with my lighter elf concealer. And I've been loving this. It brightens up my eyes so much. And with like the way that I've been sleeping, my under eyes are so bad. So I love this. Putting that on my eyes as well as like a base. And we're just going to blend that out. Do you see how bright? it is and then I go in with my elf powder like this combination is so elite um yeah loving it and also because I'm gonna do like a smoky shadow look so I wanted to lay down a lot of powder to make it easy to clean up and yeah I apologize if I sound like a man I sound so crazy right now because I'm just still recovering and I can't stop coughing and it's just wild and I hate the weather in New York and it's just crazy like it's so hot one day and then like freezing cold the next I don't know what is going on going in with my Ambrizy palette because this palette has a lot of like um smoky shades with like um glitter as well because it is a concert and it was gonna be like at nighttime, so I was like okay let me try to do like a smoky sexy look so I'm going in with the dark shade in the outer corner using tape as a guideline whenever I want to do kind of the smoky look I like to use tape to make it really sharp and clean so I'm just working in the darker shades in the outer corner and then I am gonna take um more browns and then just smoke that out kind of um and it creates that like wing effect without having to do actual black liner because i've just been so overdoing like liner like gel or like liquid outliner it's just so annoying but yeah i'm just going taking a chocolate brown and smoking that out even more i was really excited about the concert and i was listening to like all the music um like desi music and getting into it so the concert basically was a celebration of Desi music and Desi artists. It's happening in um, 
multiple cities i believe because i think they were touring and it had like obviously jay sean was the main attraction that was like the main reason that i went i didn't really know any of the other artists but their music was good too so it was a fun time um but the funny part is i was listening to this one song that came out called de la vara which i had no idea um because i just wasn't paying attention that it was also with um izu who was actually performing at the concert and he ended up opening his like set with that song so it was actually really funny but really cool because i was like oh i know this song but yeah it was a good time and normally like i get really anxious in like things like concerts and stuff where there's just a lot of people and they're on top of each other but it ended up all being okay so i took the tape off and now you kind of get the effect of like a wing so it came out really good i mean it does mess up your concealer underneath but it's fine because we can just go back in clean things up and add in more concealer as needed and yeah this is how the eyes are looking i wasn't like too happy with how it came out i was like it is what it is i need to get to blush so i'm putting on my rare beauty blush i always end up putting way too much because this thing is so pigmented but you know i just gotta blend it out trust the process and it will all be okay um and then i don't really know what i was doing but going in and then of course we're gonna have to add in powder blush this ended up being a really long night what i tell you <laughs> i was i think i was out for like 12 hours straight so this makeup had to hold up really well so um going in with my house labs blush that i've been obsessed with because it just looks so good it's so pink and i like that it looks pink on my skin tone and not it doesn't become too too peachy because i hate when like pink blushes just look peach because then what's the point of it i might Makeup as well buy, like, is halfway done my eyes oh it didn't come out the way that i wanted but at this point it is what it is for lipstick i'm gonna use my i bought this new lipstick um it's the fenty icon it's the formula that rihanna wore to the super bowl and i have not tried it yet but it's not in the color she had on she had like a bright red this one is what color is this hbic so let's see what this looks like i think it's like a deep red yeah it's like a deep or maybe not is this the one she was wearing i don't know but i'm gonna try this oh it is velvety and moussey and my lips with the pink liner from one size it's the pink remix because i don't know if i'm gonna like the red but we'll see red lipstick on top let's see how this looks it feels very creamy oh it is oh wow oh my god it feels okay i don't know i don't know how to describe it, it feels very like cold like light and airy oh my god it is kind of bright This one really feels so like light. Oh my god, I feel like I just died everywhere though. It was very dark. I'm gonna have to fix it with my with liner. Alright right, guys, I think this is the final look. My hair is so poofy because I washed it yesterday and it's raining and humid and now it looks like this, but it is what it is. I'm gonna wear these earrings. It's a basic event, so why not?
but yeah, I'll put in clips from the concert. Okay, so obviously I am gonna get copyrighted, so I'm not putting in all of the sounds of everything just because I want to be really careful, but I will put in- YOU GOT GOOD TIME! Yeah. So our next artist, I need you guys to scream as loud as possible once I introduce her. She is all about empowering our brown women all over the world. In 2016, she was on American Idol, and Jennifer Lopez herself gave her so much respect about her singing. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for that beautiful and talented Rhea Rhea! Okay, how are you guys feeling tonight? So this is Izu, this is the he sings the song that I'm obsessed with right now that I was playing earlier in the video, but he was really good. And then we have Rhea Raj, who, fun fact, I actually used one of her songs on TikTok and she like duetted my video, so it was kind of cool. She has some good songs, like some good pop songs, and I love like, you know, we love like a Daisy pop queen, so it was a lot of fun. So obviously Jay Sean was the main attraction and it was so much fun and he talked about how when he first started there was no one really like him out there and just how like now brown people are everywhere and the representation is so great and I totally agree because like when I was growing up you know I was one of the only few Muslim slash brown people in my school in my classes I didn't see a lot of people like me but now you know in 2023 we are everywhere and it's actually really nice and it's really you know it makes you feel accomplished in a way just for our community in general but yeah Everybody looks at their friend and they're like, I don't know what! I don't know, I don't know what. So let's do it together, ready? Damn, like she posts with me.
Give it up for the time of our life. How are you, Ava? You want to say anything? What song do you want Daddy to sing now? Alright, alright, wait. I'm not going to give it away. How about, how about I'll let this be the moment? And I want you guys actually to stay on stage. Because. I'm just gonna shut up and play it for you. It features the one and only Mr. Trino Fire Pitbull. Let's go! People never thought that we needed the magnifying glass on us. We could. Doctors, lawyers, engineers. What are you doing on TV and radio for? We're good. Now we are everywhere. We are everywhere. And like I said before, man, when I was walking that path. I just, I tried to keep it alive, I tried to keep hope alive and I tried to still infuse my Desi elements into my music I tried to let people know about my culture and seeing as this is a home room celebrating South Asian culture right now there is no other possible way for me to sign off than it was something like this Yeah. 